Hi guys, welcome to make to a review of set number 21001. This is from the Lego Architecture line and it's called the John Hancock Center. It comes with 69 pieces, was released in 2008 right at the start of the Architecture line and cost $20, yes, $20 for just 69 pieces. And now what you see is what you get. So it's going to be a pretty quick little video. It's a tapered building using some offsetting techniques. So all these black bricks go up to one level, then you have some jump plates on here. Let me show you how one of those works. So there you have your jump plates. Then you build the next level, and then again some jump plates. And then finally at the top, the same here. So it's a very simple construction built in these four different sections and then you have these antenna at the top. The only other thing you can see is down here this white, uh, sorry, this light bluish grey, uh, I think it might be a car park in real life or a sort of multi-story car park or emergency access there. This is a building in Chicago. It was built in 1969 and it actually has a hundred stories and is I think over 1100 feet high. So pretty big. And actually, Chicago was the inspiration for another line in this series, another set in this series, the Willis Tower, which uh, there'll be a link to above. Now, my problem with this building is, although it's nice to have a pretty simple building, nice use of, kind of how it staggers from side to side with it looking most staggered from this angle, there you get a good sense of the profile. In real life, unlike the Willis Tower, which actually is a very geometric building, the John Hancock Tower is actually tapered. It's got straight lines all the way up on both sides and at all angles. It also has very characteristic bracing, crisscross bracing, all the way down the building to uh, sort of give it structural integrity. Both of those key features are lost. If you just look at this, and then you go to Chicago, uh, or look at photos of the Chicago skyline online, you will not get a sense that that building is this Lego set uh, until you actually point it out to you. So that's cool. I mean, you can see how they did it. That's why they've got these staggered sections here, but they're not in real life. It's just, I said, a completely straight line, which is disappointing. But this was very early on in the Lego architecture line and for 69 pieces, they have done pretty well at creating you know, a solid classy base and this pretty simple building. It does look nice for what it is, which is a whole bunch of black bricks with some jumper plates used to offset them. Uh, and I think what this does show you is what you can do with a small number of parts that aren't actually that different from each other. And you can still create something that looks good in and of itself. I don't think it looks very much like the John Hancock Center. I think they're Lego is very restrictive for making those kinds of buildings. They've just released in 2015 the Flatiron building, and I think that, though a smaller building, much better captures in Lego what the building looks like in reality. In 2008, I don't think they were quite there with the Lego architecture line, but hey, this was a, an official Lego set that you probably have almost all the parts of. If you want to do it in a different colour, then you can feel free. And then you do just learn some pretty basic techniques, but still how to get proportions right how to make a building look good and just getting a sense of, yeah, I, I could make something like this too. So I think that should be quite empowering. So I think I've got not much else to say. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And I say, if you do have the parts, I do recommend trying to make it. It is fun. It's a fun little build. It didn't take me long. And uh, you do get to build something that looks cool, even if not like the actual building in reality. So if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel because more videos will be coming soon. Thanks for watching.